In 2017, you learned a little bit about two upcoming tram maintenance shutdowns. The first is the changing of the hull rope, which will close the tram for five days. This work will take place in February, over the three-day President's Day holiday. Stay tuned for more information about this closure. In this video, you'll learn more about the five-week closure and what's going to happen. It's fascinating and intense. Phase 1 is known as pre-staging and prep work. Beginning in April and lasting until June, you will see a lot of action at the upper and lower terminals preparing for the five-week closure. Don't worry, the tram will be running normal hours until June 23rd. The tram team will complete as much prep work and staging in both the lower and upper terminals prior to the arrival of the international maintenance crew. Watch for Closed-off areas near both terminals for equipment staging. The arrival of the big equipment like shipping containers, scaffolding, and cranes. Beginning on June 23rd, the tram's landscape will look significantly different during the closure. Both terminals will be blocked off and will resemble a construction zone. The tram elevator will close at this time. All pedestrian traffic will be rerouted to a new tram Kohler Pavilion connector bridge. Also, the two tram cabins will be set on the ground. Finally, all the staging equipment and materials will be set in place at both terminals. One other activity that will occur during Phase 1 is the vibration testing. This test will let the maintenance crew know if there are any vibrations felt during the tram closure and will be continuously monitored by the engineering staff. If vibrations are happening, the team will adjust hours or techniques so they're not interrupting the work being done in the hospital. Phase 2 is called rigging. Rigging is critical to the process. Once the rigging on the track rope is secured, its main function is to maintain and control tension when the rope is freed from the bollards and end clamps. Once the rigging on the track rope is secured, its main function is to maintain and control tension when the rope is freed from the bollards and end clamps. Each track rope supports more than 124,000 pounds of live tension. Then, the team will rig and prepare the tower saddle for slipping. Phase 3 is called track rope shifting. This is the main attraction of the closure activity, and all four ropes will be slipped. When a rope is slipped, first the team will spool out any excess rope from the top station in increments of three feet an hour. At the same time, the lower station will pull three feet an hour of rope from the top. Next, crews will reset plate clamps at both ends. To reset the clamps, they'll torque and inspect 24 bolts 100 feet away from the terminal. Then the process starts over for the next rope. In the end, each of the four track ropes will be pulled 150 feet downhill. Once the rope is shifted the required distance, the excess rope will be cut and recycled. Finally, the ropes are secured to bollards at both ends, tension and plate clamps reinstalled. While the crew is shifting and slipping the rope, spotters will be in place to monitor the rope over neighborhoods, Interstate 5, power lines, and the streetcar. Phase 4 is called unrigging and unstaging, also known as packing up. Once all four track ropes are shifted, the final tensioning and adjustments will take place, followed by testing and final commissioning. After commissioning, the slack carriers will be reinstalled and both cabins will be rehung, and all the equipment and tools will be removed. Phase 5 is the reopening of the tram and go by bike on July 30th. Stay tuned for the final video in this series leading up to the five week closure of the tram. It will cover alternate transportation options for anyone who is traveling to and from OHSU's Markham Hill.